Success leaves clues, and that's why we're going to watch Nova Southeastern fresh off a Division II National Championship where they won by an average of over 25 a game on route to a 36-0 record. And we're going to look at three things in this film. Number one, that they're just sold out to their style of play. Two, how they force their opponent to play their style of play and what problems that possesses. And then the third thing we're going to look at is the turnovers and how they create those turnovers. They score 28 points off of those turnovers where they only give up 12, and that's a 16 differential. So let's dive into this film and take a look. Here you are in a lead eight game. They're playing Missouri St. Louis, and they're just making they're making inbounds tough here. They've got pressure on the dribble. They're pressuring the passing lanes. Uh, may, you know, making you take contested shots. And Missouri St. Louis is able to handle that initial pressure. They they get into their offense right here, and they're able to run some half court offense. But again, their ball pressure. They're making these these passes, these entry passes, tough, creating a frenetic pace. And ultimately, force a turnover here, and that's what they do. Again, one more time here, just pressuring the inbounds, making it tough, trying to speed them up, make tough quick shots. They're flying around. They're switching out here. They're scrambling, and this just causes havoc against opponents. Again, Missouri St. Louis does a good job of handling the pressure. They run a little set here with a screen away, turn down, make a nice little backdoor cut, get the ball in the paint, but again, with the turnover. Let's go to the next clip here. You know, we're going to take a look at a lot of different film from different games. This is a Sweet 16 game against uh, University of Alabama Huntsville. And this is something you'll see pop on tape. They force you to play fast into speed dribbles. They take a ton of charges like this where they get the opponent playing really fast and sped up and taking charges. One of the better plays in basketball when you can often get a foul on the other teams, one of their better players, and you get a turnover, which makes... Charge is so valuable. Again, this is a round of 32 national tournament game. And I want to show this clip. Is this a great um, clip for Nova Southeastern? Probably not. I mean, honestly, this initial ball pressure, this is their point guard. Um, the shorter ball guy here, it's not great effort. He plays with great effort if you watch a lot of their film. But they give up a speed dribble. They let that thing get all the way to the paint. But a great individual effort here by this guy taking a charge. And again, that's what they do really well in their full court pressure system. Here they'll do this a lot. They pressure you. They trap you in the back court, speed you up. Again, they're used to playing this style. Other teams aren't always used to it, forcing a turnover. Yep, here we are again, off of a missed free throw. They're trapping the rebounder. They're making you play fast. What appears to be, you know, a pretty good attack where we get two feet to the paint and we think we have a dump off for a layup, but because they scramble, because they make you play fast, they get a lot of these deflections and steals in the in the front court, not always the back court. And pressing style teams often do that. It's not always about what you get in the back court. It's about making teams take fast shots or for forcing them into turnovers. Here we are again. They're they're playing. West Georgia decides to bring all their players up, almost like a football style press offense. They send people deep and they try to create some havoc. And again. Nova Southeastern does this really well. They do not give up on the play. Their effort level, they know in transition, if, if they handle or their opponent handles the initial pressure, that you must sprint back, you must stop the ball, and you're doing some fly switching where they're, they're stopping ball, and then the person that got beat is going to pick up somebody else's man, and that's where turnovers are created the ball hand that this happens oftentimes against really good pressing teams like Nova Southeastern. Again, going back here to an Elite Eight game, Missouri St. Louis. Here they are. They'll often trap in the full court. They're speeding you up, playing fast. And again, what do they do? 
They force you to play a little bit out of control. By the way, this player taking the charge, that's a Division II National Player of the Year, RJ Sunahara. And when your best player is taking charges, everybody else typically follows suit on really good teams. And we often say at PGC, anybody can play fast and out of control. Anybody can play slow and under control. Special players play fast and under control. And right here, you see a player, they're making a player play fast and out of control, not under control. And very few players can do both, playing fast and under control. Notice, I mean, Nova Southeastern's down one here in the second half. They're playing against a really, really good team. They've got a great trap here deep in the corner. Missouri St. Louis is able to beat that trap. And here you are. They're taking a charge again. Same player, RJ Sunahara, taking that charge. Same game. Now, this is this is the thing that's tough. That when you go against a team like Snova Southeastern. And I want to point this out. I want to show this clip. So, this is a pretty good shot. I mean... This player, right, one of their better three-point shooters, gets a wide-open transition three. And, you know, you, you probably want to take that. But you're always in a predicament when you don't play this style as the opponent of Nova Southeastern. Here's the dilemma. Do we push it and take advantage of some of the opportunities we're going to get on the back end? Maybe some, some two-on-one situations, some wide-open threes like this. Or... Do we want to beat it and slow it down and play a more of a half court style? I think most coaches would say, well, shoot, we got to take what we can get if we can get great shots. Great shots are great shots. But then the on the other side of that, when you take early quick shots, Nova Southeastern gets to push and play this style, which again, they practice and they play every day. Can't emphasize that enough. And when other teams don't do this or they're not accustomed to it, over the course of 40 minutes in a college game, it's going to favor the team that's used to it. You might hang for 15, 20, maybe 30, or even 35 minutes, but can you do it for 40 minutes? That's the dilemma. Again, not much rebounding opportunities when you take quick transition threes oftentimes. When you take quick Sometimes if you if you take transition threes, you're susceptible to offensive rebounds as well, which you should see on this clip right here. But the, here, Nova Southeastern does give up that offensive rebound, which again, probably not something that their coach wants to do, but can happen. Here we are in the national championship game, and this is against West Liberty, who average 99 a game. This this game was a 111 to 101 victory for Nova Southeastern record setting scoring in this game. And West Liberty is accustomed to playing this style. But you do force people to play fast. Again, another run out, throw over the top and that's a tough shot right there. So, if you're Nova Southeastern, you probably live with this one foot takeoff Body, contact, finish. I want to point out something, though. Right here, you can see number 14. And Nova Southeastern does this really well, as you'll see as we roll these clips. And I'm going to let it play at a little faster rate as we go. The way he challenges, he walls up, he goes vertical, and he doesn't foul. I notice this as I watch and break down their film. They do not bail out guys trying to get the big-time block. They make you make tough finishes like this. And they don't foul you. They go hands up. They wall up. They go vertical. And that's that's another teaching point. Another uh, thing to point out here that good pressing teams, they don't want to foul a lot and then stop game and let the other team or their opponent rest. Again, heck of a, heck of a finish here by the West Liberty point guard. Again, same game. Again, national championship game. Again, they're trying to create pressure. They're trapping. They're forcing you into speed dribbles. Again, almost take a charge. Good job of avoiding it. And you force them into these tough shots. That's a tough finish to force your opponent into. 
All right, right here is an example. Not a great play. This is, you know, he gets caught off one foot again. The value of playing off two feet. But he gets caught off one foot, turns it over. But Nova Southeastern, again, they're speeding you up. And want you to notice how they're flying and scrambling around. They're taking away that first or second option. Really, I'd say they take away your first three options. And so if you watch here as we push, point guard, Gets to the paint, they take away that first, they take away the second, they take away the third, and ultimately leads to a turnover. And if you can do that as a transition defensive team, if you can do that as a defensive transition team and take away the first few options and make that offense work a little bit, and again, they're accustomed to this and scrambling around, you know, sometimes good things like that will happen where you can force them into turnovers. Again, again, you see a theme here where they force a lot of these turnovers in the front court. So after teams handle the pressure in the back court, they play fast, they push it, and then they force these turnovers, these deflections, these steals in the front court because of the great effort in transition to sprint. So watch here, DeGraziano, the, the point guard, the ball player here. Watch him sprint back. He's sprinting full Speed does slow down for a brief, mo brief moment, but again, forces that turnover. Again, this is a Final Four team. This is a Final Four game, and you're forcing them to play fast. And as the opposing coach, these are the dis tough decisions. Do you, as a coach and as a team here, do you play into their hands? Do you take this shot? Are, are you okay living with this shot right here where you get two feet to the paint? You know, it's a seven, eight footer, little floater. You make it, great. You miss it. Well, now Nova Southeastern is off and running and you're playing into their hands. Quick shots. They want you to take quick shots so they can play fast on the other end. They're fully committed to this style of play, which again, I can't emphasize enough as I watch this and I went into this a little bit blind. I didn't follow Nova Southeastern all year and know what they were doing. I was tracking how they were winning and saw them in the rankings. But when I did this deep dive in film, I wanted to see for myself and go in clean on it, unbiased what I would see. And here's what I saw. These are the tough decisions you got to make as the opposing coach. They get the rebound. Now they don't get out. I do see, you do see the kick ahead there. Again, we're studying just mostly defense here. Again, they trap you. They force you to play fast. Man, that's a deep three. And again, I think probably Nova Southeastern is okay with that. It's a 14-point game right now. They force it. I mean, that's a deep three. You know, a late contest to it. He hits it but probably something they're okay living with. Now, they, they mix up their presses here. So I want to point this out. They do not have somebody on the ball. Sometimes they put a person on the ball here. Right now, they're doubling up this point guard, and it looks like they don't want him to catch. They want to make somebody else catch. He ends up catching. They double team, and now we're off on a speed dribble. And what do you know? There's another charge by your D2 player of the year. Let's take a look at two final clips here on this defensive transition, full court stuff. Again, right here, final four game again. And again, they get the turnover in the front court and you're speeding people up. You're speeding your opponent up who's not accustomed to this style of play. And Nova Southeastern is another turnover. All right, final clip here. Again, this is in the half court. And these type of plays really ignite your team. But they, they make wing entries tough. They're not afraid to jump out in these passing lanes like this. And ignite their offense they're trying to create a fast-paced tempo and that's one way you do it okay i'm going to just show about three more clips here and this is going to be some transition offense stuff off of a made bucket some turnovers and missed shots 
And I want you to notice how Southeastern gets out and runs the floor, both the, the people without the ball and then the ball handler, and they push the pace they push at. And, again, this is a style of play that you have to be fully committed to and haven't seen many people better than being fully committed to this style of play than what you see with Nova Southeastern. So let's roll the tape here. Again, this is off a made bucket. It's a one dribble. Kick ahead, advance pass from backcourt to front court, And you get a one-on-one -on -one play at the rim. And you may be saying, well, you know, hey, Sam, I mean, this is a 6'7", 6'8", guy. This is a player of the year. And, you know, of course, you know, that this, this makes sense why they'd be successful. Look, if you're going to be successful at any level, middle school, high school, college, pro, you you got to have really good players. And sometimes systems build players. Sometimes players can be successful across any system. And you got to have good players. And this is letting your players play. This is letting them go make plays. And this is just a great one-on-one -on -one finish. But it's created by the system of pushing the ball, kicking it ahead, playing fast. And we'll let it roll here. Here's off a turnover. And notice how the we call this in PGC, we call this swooping. So when you don't have the ball, so they get the turnover, and you'll see this player right here at the bottom of the screen here, getting out and sprinting the floor and getting behind the defense. One more time here, just want you to notice. So right now, you would see basically three black jerseys, four ahead of the ball, and three of them ahead of Nova Southeastern's lead guy. But that lead guy, because he sprints and other guys are backpedaling, he's going to get an easy dunk because he just sprinted the floor. That's just a commitment. Shooting a deep three, which again, you force this, and then it allows you to push. And again, another thing we talk about at PGC is eagerly hunting the paint. Key word is eagerly. Probing the defense is another term I would use. So right here, they push it. The numbers don't favor Nova Southeastern. It's a two on three situation, two versus three. But again, he probes. You got a rim runner attacking down the middle of the floor that drags that defender a little bit. He probes the defense, keeps hunting the paint, and again, gets a pretty easy layup there off the glass. On Nova Southeastern and what we can learn from a team and a program like theirs. So Jim Crutchfield, their head coach, over the last 20 years has put together an impressive run of 85% winning percentage and really got it done, made deep runs into the postseason, ultimately, like we mentioned earlier, culminating in this national championship run. But they're fully committed to this style, lead the country in scoring. And I think one thing is I study through their stats and they shot over 50% from the field and 40, almost 40% from three. They did give up about 36, 37% for their opponents shooting the three and about 44, which is a good margin, not crazy, not what you expect, but when you dive deeper, one thing that st stands out to me, they force 22 turnovers. They commit 12 turnovers themselves. So that's a plus 10 differential. When you get 10 more possessions than your opponent off of turnovers, that's significant. If you just convert on four of those and score, you know, 10 points, which by the way, their margin is 16. They, they convert at 28 points per game on turnovers and they only give up 12. So that's a plus 16. And that's why you see them able to go on a run like they did. When you commit to a style of play and you're all in and you're sold out to it, there's great value because that's your style. And and other people have to play that and not everybody plays this way and so they're having to adjust to them rather than vice versa if you like this video you'll love our video from my pgc teammate graham maxwell who broke down how steph curry was moved on the ball instead of off the ball during their playoff run be sure to click the link below to check it out